time at the reserve at Lake Travis, and we're gonna see the Sterling Custom Home. Let's go take a look. Hey, Ashley, how are you doing? I do. Wow, what a first impression. This is awesome, isn't it? I feel relaxed already with the fountains, the oh, sound of that. The tranquil sound of the water is just awesome. And then you have a great place to sit and enjoy it with a cup of coffee in the morning. What an incredible space. I can't wait to see more. Oh, awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Hi. 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 Let me introduce you to our design team. Okay, that we've got Steve Todd, who is with Austin Design Group. He's the architect on the project and, that, and the visionary. We have Mary DeWalt with uh, uh, DeWalt Interiors, and she's the one that's for all the lovely furnishings and how the paint colors came together and everything else that to make this house a home. Wow, this is a phenomenal space. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, yeah, what we were trying to do was create something that really brought the outdoors in. You know, with part of this with the courtyard as you come in, the big sliding glass doors. This is going to be a second home for most folks, and so we really want it to feel like a resort. But even if you live here all the time, you still want to live in a resort, right? On vacation all the time. Sure. Wow, I just noticed that incredible light fixture. And then the contemporary style of the fireplace is just so elegant. We think it's really important that this was unique. And so everything here is one of a kind. And I think that's what makes this house so special all the way through. There's interest everywhere you look in this room. It's fantastic. I can't wait to see more. Okay, let's go do it. Let's do it. Wow, Duke, I love the two-tone color scheme of the cabinets. Yes, that's awesome. That was part of Mary's design and, and being able to come in and create the color. I think the star of this, of this show is the cloud with the awesome, bodacious light fixtures. That is awesome. I think another really exciting element about this space is all the natural light that just pulls in. Yeah, well, we connected the wet bar to the kitchen, and by doing that, we did this, these big windows that open up, and they op actually open up all the way, so the wet bar, you can serve people on the outside as well as on the inside. Let me show you through some of the other areas of the kitchen. This is some of my favorite work right here. Look at this. This looks like a normal cabinet to you. It's the butler pantry. Oh, wow. What a really convenient space just right off of the kitchen. You've got the uh, coffee bar all set up for your guests so your guests can come in this direction and not have to go into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And Duke, you've really thought of everything. What well, else have you got to show me? Well, let's keep going. Let's go. Wow, this master suite is to die for. Is this not a very, very wonderful space to be in? It's so beautiful. The thing that I love about this bedroom is that the view is so fabulous. And we have this luxurious headboard that, you know, almost takes up the whole wall and some lovely wallpaper so that you have some nice contrast. Now, this is probably the most bodacious light fixture that we have in the entire house. And it's just spectacular. It is a statement piece for sure. Yeah, let's go on and let's look in the master bath. This room is massive. This is, uh, now this is the ultimate in master baths. We have both sides of the master bedroom for his and hers. Everything is set up that way with the shower. This is the ultimate master bath. I love it. If you're gonna have separation in space, this is where to have it. One of the things that I particularly like is, you know, we have this gorgeous marble all the way through and on the walls and the, again, some beautiful light fixtures flanking the mirror. The other thing I like is that you would expect white cabinets in here, but we have some warm uh, stained wood cabinets, which really, I think, brings out the, the rest of the, the bathroom. The tile details in here are so fine and so elegant. I feel like I'm in like a nice bougie resort. That's exactly what we want you to feel like. Yeah. <laughs> we hit that one on the head. Yeah. <laughs> Steve? Talk about the master tub. Well, this is actually the, my favorite part of the room. Uh, I like taking baths, and so the tub is one of my favorite things, but I like the separate showers. This is probably my favorite room in the house. Mm -hmm. So let's go and let's look into the uh, master closet. Um, Duke, this is not a master closet. This is larger than my first apartment. Uh, this is unbelievably big. Look at the pull-down rods and 
uh, the area that you can set your suitcase on on top with the built-in cabinets and pack your uh, suitcase up and travel wherever you want to go. I love a closet with an island. That is a necessity. Uh, most definitely. Let's go and let's look at uh, some more parts of the house. Let's go. Come on in and let's look at the guest room, which is also our casita. And I love this recessed window. It adds so much character to the room. Oh, it does. And then, you know, it just brings the different colors and stuff out in the room. And Mary did an awesome job in that side of it. So let's go and let's look at some other areas. Yeah, I'm dying to see the bunk room. Okay, let's go to the let's bunk room. Let's go. Okay, so this is where the kids hang out. This is our bunk room. Is this not neat? This is such a fun room. Yes, and you know, we'd set them up with two different size beds. So you have full size beds and twin size beds. So two people could sleep down and one person could sleep up. This will sleep six people very easily. What else have you got to show me? Well, come on, let's go. So Ashley, come on in and let's look at the luxury lounge. <gasps> wow, this is such a fun space. Isn't it wonderful? This is probably the space that got the most attention when we were working on the parade home. Uh, it has had hours of discussion of what we need. We knew we needed big, huge TVs, and then the rest kind of fell into place. Sure. So it, it can be anything that you want it to be, and just that space, I think, for the family to come out here and enjoy everything with the multi-TVs, just like what uh, Mary said, and uh, you can just roll up the garage door and go entertain out on the driveway. It's such a thoughtful and creative space. So what else do you have to show me? Oh, we still have the other side of the house to go to. Let's All right, go. let's see it. Yep. Wow, what an incredible space out here. So this backs up to a green belt. What an amazing view. Oh, it's an awesome view. So let's go on and grab a seat. Let's have a little bit of a wine taste then. So Duke, why did you decide to build at the reserve at Lake Travis? I think it's an awesome place from a standpoint of uh, just resort kind of feel. Uh, it has uh, boating, your own Lake Travis, it has a wonderful swimming pool. So all of the amenities and stuff inside the uh, project are just wonderful for families. Uh, it's really kind of a family community. So I really like that atmosphere that it creates. Well, Duke, you have an amazing home here. I've had such a pleasure of walking it with you. And if it's okay with you, I'm going to stick around a little while longer and take in that view. Well, let's do it. Enjoy our wine. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to you.